Good evening, everyone. From this beautiful historic home in New Orleans, we take ourselves out of the usual routines of daily living to witness a unique and amazing moment in the lives of Christopher and John Paul. Today, they join their lives in the union of marriage. To all their guests, they are happy to share this moment with you. They have known most of you for many years. You watched them grow up, you went to school with them, or you worked with them. Because you are the ones that have supported them and known them so well, it is only fitting that you are here to share this special moment with them. We want to give a special welcome to their parents, Emma and John, and Joanne and Peter. Christopher's sisters, Christina and Katie, John Paul's siblings, George, Donnie, Jennifer, David, Rachel, and Emily. <laughs> they also want to welcome the spirits of their grandparents, Vito, Marie, Giacomo, Angela, Harry, Lorita, Adolfo, and Esther. And of course, we know that Aunt Beth is here with us tonight. Okay, um, this is not the beginning of a new relationship, but an acknowledgement of the next chapter in their lives together. Yeah. Okay. Christopher and John Paul have spent years getting to know each other, and now we bear witness to what their relationship has become. Today, they will affirm this bond formally and publicly. Christopher and John Paul will mark this next chapter as a couple not only by celebrating the love between themselves, but by also celebrating the love between all of us. Without that love, today would be far less joyous. John Paul met Christopher in New York City on the southeast corner of Central Park. <laughs> it was a midsummer's day that they spent sharing laughs and many two-for-one martinis. They ended the night... <laughs> They ended the night laying on the grass in Central Park, watching the fireflies light the night sky. From this moment, they knew they had something beautiful and special that would last forever. Over the course of their relationship, they have grown individually and as a team, rooted in the foundation of love, support, respect, and trust. Tonight marks a monumental milestone of their journey. This is a poem written by John Paul to Christopher, my son. You are my morning and evening star. Without my warmth, without your warmth, my spirit dims. Without your light, my heart darkens. It is your face I see as I rise and sleep. You are the bright and cool sun. With your love, my day is filled. With your heart, my night is bliss. It is your shine I see to rapture in the dark. You are my sun, you are my moon, you are my stars and heavens, you are my cosmos and obsessions. My dear, you are my sun. On you, my world revolves. My dear, you are my sun. With you, my life evolves. You are my heart, you are my life, you are my happiness and more. You, sorry. Um, you are my love and you I adore. Shine your light always on me. Can you hear me? The formal exchange of your wedding vows is the most ancient part of a wedding ceremony. These are the words that couples for centuries have spoken to one another. And while they are very simple words, they have extraordinary meaning and importance. As you speak them to one another, you will discover that these are truly sacred promises, and sacred promises must be kept forever. <laughs> Take note. 
Now you shall say a few words that take you across the threshold of life, and things will never quite be the same between you. Thank you. I write big. Okay. John Paul. Sorry. <laughs> David Rose. Okay. John Paul. Right after we met, we instantly fell in love. It was that honest and deep connection that we still have today. For me, there is a sense of comfort and protection when you're around. Maybe it's because of how accident prone I am and just knowing you could fix me but I always have felt protected and above all, your priority. There was one time early into dating that I still think about. You knew me roughly for three months. I had lost my wallet, shocker. <laughs> Should have known right then. Uh, you handed me one of your credit cards and your Metro card so I could get to work and pay for lunch. You did this so quickly without even second guessing it that that's the person that I'm marrying today, the person that will lend a hand without questioning and expect nothing in return. I love you. I love how you make me feel. You're my everything. Everything that I've, sorry. Gross. <laughs> uh, okay. Thank you. Okay. You're my everything. Everything that I need in a friend and everything that I've ever wanted in a husband. You make me laugh every single day and fill my life with so much happiness. Our love is in everything that we've built and it's one of my greatest achievements. <laughs> Thanks. Being able to work together these last few years as a team, whether it be on my collections or at your surgical practice, I love how we are able, able to seamlessly switch roles of the kite and the kite holder. One to fly and one to ground. I think that shows tremendous strength, support, and patience in our relationship. And although I can't wait to be the kite again, <laughs> I knew you'd laugh at that one. <sighs> although I can't wait to be the kite again, I have really loved watching you succeed and blossom this past year. You've, uh, you've helped so many people and made their, <sighs> sorry. You've helped so many people and made them so happy about themselves. It was very beautiful and inspiring to watch and be a part of. John Paul, today I am filled with the same amount of butterflies in my stomach as the moment I met you. I promise to love you forever and I will do everything in my power for your happiness. My life is complete with you. I love you. Oh no, I lost mine. Your turn. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay. Let's see if I can read my doctor's uh, chicken scratch. My sweet Christopher, you have fundamentally changed my life. From the moment we met, I knew you were the one. Your exuberance and passion for life emanates through you at all times, and it makes you shine. Wherever you go, you shine. You fill every room with your light. Now I get to shine with you for the rest of our lives. I know that our lives and our love is special. I know that we don't need to look to each other to complete and feel complete because we are complete within ourselves. I know that we will succeed because we understand that life does not come at us or it happened to us. It flows from us. And together, we're unstoppable. My vows to you are simple, but they are unbreakable. 
I promise to love you fully, honestly, deeply. I promise to always be your best friend and help you grow in any way that I can. And with that, I promise to grow with you. I promise to always make you laugh and to always find joy together. And I promise to set this world on fire with you. You are so incredibly special and I'm so deeply in love with you. Thank you for loving me and being mine. Sorry, I'm a little emotional here, but uh, I'm gonna go ahead and try to get through this. Okay. John Paul. John Paul, will you place this symbol of your promise on Christopher's hand and repeat after me? With this ring, With this ring. I marry you, binding my life to yours. It is a symbol of my eternal love, my everlasting friendship, and the promises of all my tomorrows. <laughs> Christopher? Will you place your symbol of promise on John Paul's hand and repeat after me? With this ring, I marry you. With this ring, I marry you. Binding my life to yours. Binding my life to yours. It is a symbol of my eternal love. It is a symbol of my eternal love. My everlasting friendship. My everlasting friendship. And the promise of all my tomorrows. May the life you share together be as sweet as this wine you drink today. May your love for one another always be a source of inspiration and happiness. May your journey together be blessed with generosity and forgiveness. May you enable each other to fulfill your dreams and may you be committed to the paths of courage and hope. Wherever you travel, wherever life takes you, may the love of your family and friends always echo in your hearts. With the strength of your relationship, may you help transform the world in big and small ways. May your love for each other be a source of warmth and inspiration for your community. May you always find a refuge tucked within your love, a place to hide out, and a place to reflect. Blessed is the source of life who creates wonder, pleasure, song, and delight. May these grooms be filled with gladness and rejoicing, love, harmony, and companionship. And may they be blessed with peace. Do you, John Paul, promise to love Christopher and respect him, to share your life and your dreams, to build with him a home that is a place of love, happiness, commitment, and growth? Do you, Christopher, promise to love John Paul and respect him, to share your life and your dreams, to build with him a home that is a place of love, happiness, commitment, and growth. We now pronounce you married. You may kiss your groom. <laughs> Thank you.